Hello everyone and welcome back. In one of our previous tutorial, we went ahead and understood Power Apps Attachment Control. In this tutorial, what we are going to go ahead and do is we are going to take one step forward. We are going to go and merge all the files that we have gone ahead and attached and then save it into a SharePoint document library. So if you're wondering how is this Power App set up, I would highly recommend you look at the tutorial. I'll leave the tutorial link in the description section below as well. So now let's go ahead and quickly send the attachments over the email. So to send the attachments over the email and to make it a bit simple, I'm going to add a button and this button, I would say merge attach. This would be the name of my button. Now that I have a button associated, I need to send the attachments or save the attachments in SharePoint. So to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a flow. So I'll say create flow. I'll create it from blank and here what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an input for now. I'll say text and I'll say attachments and I'll just add a compose so that I can save my flow. Perfect, right? So I'll say compose and I'll pass the attachment out here. I'll give this a meaningful name. So I'll say merge attachment power apps and I'll save my flow. Next, what I want to do is on the on select property of the merge attach button, I need to associate the flow that I just created. So I'll say run or I can type in the name merge attach power apps dot run. And to this, I need to pass in a variable. So if you have not followed my tutorial previously, please go ahead and revisit it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pass in the file data which will have the JSON content of the attachments. So I'm going to pass it out here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to trigger my flow. It tells me, okay, it tells me that it's blank. I understand the error. So I need to first click on the button so that I can create my merge or I can create an array and then click on the merge attach. Now I should not get the error. So understand this, I first need to populate my variable and then go ahead and click on it. In your case, you might do it together. But if I go to my flows and if I click on merge attach, I have a succeeded run. Perfect. So I have a compose out here. Before the compose, I have got inputs. There's a text which holds the attachments. If I click on the compose and if I cl click on download inputs outputs, any one of those, I should go ahead and see, uh, I should see the attachments. So firstly, this looks like a string. I need a JSON so that I can pass the JSON out of it. So to do that, I'm going to modify my formula. So what I'll say is inside the compose that I just created, I'll type in FX, I'll type in JSON and then pass in the dynamic value attachments. So now this would create a JSON for me. Now, once it creates a JSON, let me just say, let, let me rename this compose JSON. So we have composed the JSON. Now I want to collect the attachment such that I can go ahead and pass it to the action that merges them together. So I need to initialize a variable. So I'll type in variable and I'll initialize a variable out here and I'll give it a name. I'll say merge ARR. So this is going to be an array. So I'll say initialize variable array. Perfect. Now that I have initialized the variable, the next step would be to go ahead and show you the output. So I'll save this and I'll rerun the flow so that we can see how the JSON would look like. I'll use the previous run and I'll test. Perfect. So I'll click on this and I'll click on download outputs. And if you see, you'll say Clavin, it's the same. No, my friends, it's not the same. We got rid, uh, it's not a string anymore, but it's a JSON array. So I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to add the parse JSON action. I'll use the payload. So this returns me the file, which is actually the content string and then also the file name. And to this, I'm going to pass in output of the compose action that is compose JSON. Now that I have this, the next step would be to clean up the string. So here, if you see, it has got, it's actually a binary string, or you can say that we need to get rid of this 
path so that we only pass in the content string to our merge action. So how would we do that? So firstly, to do that, the best thing would be to, you know, use a compose. A compose can act as a placeholder. So I'll just say compose content string. Okay. To this, I'm going to go ahead and firstly split the string such that I can only get the content. So I need to split it and the delimiter that I'm going to use is the comma. So the formula would be split. Then I'm going to go ahead and pass in a dynamic value that is the body file and I'll split it with reference to the delimiter that is a comma. Then I'm going to fetch the first element of the array, not the zeroth element, the first element. Perfect. I want to get rid of the double quotes as well because you know when we encode it even that would give us an error. So I'll say replace double quotes from this string, right? So what do I want to replace? Double quotes with blank and I will say okay that's good. So I have the file content in this compose action. Now what I want to do? I want to merge them together. To merge them together, I'm going to use the PDF converter merge action. So I'll type in Muhembi and here I will get the merge document actions. This document action, if I click on show all, I can actually pass in an array. So let's quickly look at the structure. So the array should be of this structure. So I can just say append to array variable, use the merge array and pass in the values. So file content would be the compose, which is just above it. So I'll just quickly put in the compose. Perfect. The file name would be the body file name. I can pass it directly. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the merge and I'm going to pass this array out here. So let me get rid of this and let me quickly pass in the merge array. Finally, I will write the file back to SharePoint. So to write the file back to SharePoint, I'll use the create file action and I'll write it in Clavin demo. I will write it in the shared documents and I'm going to say, I'll give it a static name. You can give it a dynamic name as well. Attachment demo and I'll just append UTC to it dot PDF. And the file content would be the output of the merge action. At this point, my Power Automate has been configured. So I'll save my flow and I'll test my flow. So I'll test it manually for now. So let's see. So it tells me that, you know, so when I go ahead and test my flow, I get an error of the connection. And this is a known problem. So I go back into my Power Apps. I go ahead and first refresh this formula. I will remove this formula or the expression form associated to the button. Now that it has been refreshed, I will re-add it. And I'll just say, it should be file, what should be it? It should be file data. So I'll pass in the file data out here. Now let's try to trigger it from here. So I'll click on this button. This should trigger my flow. It's trying to merge the files. And it created the file. So it created the file in the Clavin demo folder site and in the documents folder. So I'll quickly go there. I'll click on documents. This is the file that we just created. So I'll just click on open in browser and it gives me an error. So we will troubleshoot this error. So here I'm back in make.powerautomate.com. So the problem seems to be with the file content. Perfect, let's go ahead and understand the problem. The problem is that we are passing in a content string, but what it expects is a binary string. So what we can do out here is I can type in base64 to binary, and here I can pass it the output of the content string, right? And I can save it and let's try to run it again.
So let's go ahead, go back to Power Apps and let's try to trigger the flow from here. So what I'm going to do, I have two files out here that I have uploaded. So it seems that two DOCX files. So I've clicked on the button and then I'll click on merge attach, right? So perfect. So now it has created a file. Let me quickly open it in the browser and it looks good. So the final piece in our puzzle would be to go ahead and deploy this solution to the end user. Now we need to understand when a end user goes ahead and tries to use this app, they will be prompted for credentials. So what you need to configure is you need to configure run only users. For the run only users, especially you need to set the Muhimbi PDF connector to run this connection or else the each and every end user would be prompted for credentials. But once you do that, you should be set. Perfect. So I hope this quick tutorial was informative. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.